So there's quite a lot of transformation happening in my body right now, just because I'm practicing these things for so long. So the chi gets trained to go to the dantian, so I feel it con converging there, it's even swirling a bit, I don't normally feel that. But whatever's happening in your body is exactly what needs to happen. Trying to make things happen is not usually the best way. We just hold the position, we relax, and the energy will do what it needs to do. So there's some levels with Qigong development. First one you need to practice. You can practice. If you don't practice, you don't feel the energy and it can't build. So we practice first. Practice the right way, uh, frequently enough. Then you feel the chi. Once you can feel it, after a while you feel you can grab it. Once you can feel you can grab it, you can move it. And once you can move it, you can make it thicken. So that's just the first few stages. And in Qigong they say that you can't miss a step. And really you can't. If you can't feel the energy, how do you grab it? If you can't grab it, how do you move it? So it's a very distinct feeling over time. It's like putting your bucket into a, uh, your, your arm into a bucket of water. You feel the water on your arm. There's no mistake about it. So when you're practicing Qigong, that energy feeling, it's a very distinct feeling. And if you can't feel it, if you think, oh, I'm not quite sure if I can feel it or not, or maybe that's it, you can't, because it's very distinct. So all these practices are just time. These are all the ones that you need to do. They'll get the result. Keep going with practice.